Hey, what's good, man? What you do, baby? What's D-town, good, D-town, man? Hey, it's Ryan. How you doing? Hi, How y'all hi. doing? This man's about to get married. Oh Isn't that crazy? Oh about to get married, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, lucky yeah. man. Hey, what? Ah! Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh, no. Appreciate you, bro. Oh, day. <laughs> All right, y'all have a good one. Life really is like so beautiful. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. If you want to tell everybody why we're here, yeah, bachelor trip, baby. Dude, 2024. Yes. Your sir. boy's getting married in November. I can't believe it. What Word. do you think about Riley? What do I think about Riley? Yeah. Uh, I can't. I really can't stand her. It's like no, no personality, no fun. No, no. Riley is amazing. The more I've gotten to like interact with her, the more I like her. I call her the, like the mama bear. Like that was like one of the main things that I noticed about her. Her selflessness. I pretty much knew within a month of us hanging out that I wanted to marry her. That was legitimately my first question. Was how did you know? But it yeah. sounds like a month. Like thirty really days max. Quick. <laughs> wow. Probably sooner, but like I just didn't realize it yet. Do you remember that first interaction? Oh, did I not tell you how we met? No, I've never heard the story. Okay, but so I'd I'm, love to. You know him. I, yes, the I know promised Hinge. land. I know Hinge. I was on Hinge, and she, you know, the rose. Oh, you sent her a rose? She rose me. Ah! <laughs> wait, wait, that's so funny. So, so yeah. no, 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 she sent me and that rose. I dead ass thought I was being catfished, bro. Cause like that's she, a dream. She looked too good to like be true. I wanted to like. See if she was actually real. <laughs> she sent oh, me a no, selfie, like, and I like I literally thought it was AI, bro. Because I was like, <laughs> I was like, yeah, no, this still doesn't add up. Why would this girl like me? She's lucky to have you. Shoo, gas me up. Says shoo, bro. <laughs> Do you have a plan in place for how you want to handle conflict, and if so, what does that look like? In my past relationships, I have not handled conflict as best as I could have. And so that was one of the big things that I wanted to sort out with Riley before we even like got super serious because I'm at the point where I was at the point where I wanted to date to marry, you know, like I didn't want to yeah. just date for fun. So I knew I wanted to marry her within the first month, right? So yeah. before I proposed, I told myself, like I gave myself the restriction that I wouldn't propose until after a year because- Makes sense. That's enough time for you to really like actually get to know someone really really well mm. it's kind of arbitrary time frame but like that's what sure. i just like thought felt good to ensure that we had some time to like actually go through some conflict and i wanted to like mm. see how we would handle conflict mm. and riley just she is like i don't know how else to say it other than like the better version of me like wow. she like do you think she'd say something similar yeah, she would because we've talked, we're in premarital counseling and so we have talked about like how we handle conflict with each other and like our conflict styles and like all these different like attributes that we both have wow. and how they come together. I've always been so surprised by how much you learn about another person when you're in conflict with them. Yeah. I feel like it's hard to truly know somebody until you've struggled deeply with them in some way. Yeah. Like I think about my relationship with my mother, for example, like so many times throughout growing up, like we would be at odds just because I was being a little shit or whatever. <laughs> but I'm so, so close with her now and we know each other so deeply. Yeah. And I think a core component of that is we've fought, we've struggled, you know? Yeah. And thus, I think, you re I think you respect somebody that you've experienced real conflict <laughs> with more than you would otherwise if everything is always peachy. Yeah. Right? I have been like toxic in relationships in the past. I feel like what you're saying has truth to it. If you like already love that person and then you're going through conflict or if you have like some type type of care, but like uh, I was in a relationship with one girl and I was just super toxic to her and we'd fight and like that didn't ever bond us, you know, because there wasn't that baseline. You know what I'm trying to get at? Yeah, I, I, I can understand what you're saying. Yeah. It's conflict in and of itself is not a predictor of better yeah, future that's connection. that's a great way to put it, yeah. But when the intention is set in the right direction, when you tell me you're going through premarital counseling, it's almost in my mind as though you're taking, you're making the decision to set up a roadmap almost for what is the trajectory of our relationship yeah. from the jump. Like obviously there's gonna be a million incredible surprises that you could never have planned, 
I think a relationship is an adventure. Hell At yeah. least that's the kind of relationship I want. I think when those conflicts happen, it's like you know where the energy is supposed to go. If you want to be with the same person for your whole life, then you, you can't make it about yourself. It has to be servant leadership. And wow. it has to yeah. be both people wanting to outserve the other person. It's like a competition. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> how can I serve you so much today to where, like, you can't beat me? Oh, and that's if, incredible, If you have man. both people doing that, like, just, like, it gave me chills just now, bro. Look. <laughs> Look like, at this. imagine how, yeah. like, just pure and, and, like, holy that relationship mm -hmm. will be. And it will be so, like, beautiful. You know, I think of my own parents. They've been together for 30, 30 plus years. To me, that's an extraordinary amount of time yeah, to yeah. put out with one person. Yeah. Like we know that more than half of unions between two partners, they don't end up together. Yeah. Not to say that there isn't any beauty and there isn't anything to be gained from being with someone for a time and then yeah. there's pain or there's some form of separation. I'm not gonna say in any way that you can't learn from that, but why do you think most relationships don't end in a lifelong partnership and, and that form of success. It could come back around to a lot of people's mindset these days are like selfishly oriented. So for me, like my dad and mom never married, right? And so they had me, went their separate ways, married other people. Yeah. And so I have two families really, had two sets of friends, had like two lives basically. It was kind of wow. weird. Obviously it's very prevalent for a lot of kids to be growing up without fathers or yeah. even without mothers as well and that really takes an impact for me like not having my real dad around me for a lot of my life it made me look for validation from coaches girls you know all like the yep. all the normal stuff like just looking for validation in places where like it would have been fulfilled if i just had a dad Damn. i feel like <laughs> there's just so many kids like that growing up and now there's TikTok and all these crazy things <laughs> that are taking up the time of these kids that just need family. Wow, wow. I've been so surprised, especially as an adult, as I grow older, and I come more into myself, being comfortable just existing, whether I'm alone, whether I'm with other people, whether I'm in a relationship or not, to feel the contrast in how desperate I used to be for validation, being in a place that was more difficult you know, more self-critical. Yeah. But then once you find the people that really make you feel peace, you find that personal peace with yourself and your passions, like to feel the confidence that comes with those realizations and that self-confidence and spiritual confidence, I really wouldn't change anything though. It's like without those trials, we wouldn't have the perseverance, the character, mm -hmm. and the hope that we have looking towards the future looking towards a marriage, whatever it may be. Do you feel hopeful about your future? Absolutely. There's times where I'm discouraged, obviously, it's just life, but like overall, yeah. I'm so blessed. Just so grateful to have you <laughs> yeah. and like all the boys, like all my close, close boys, my inner circle. It's been great. Man, nothing but love and hope yeah. for the future. With that being said, thank you all so much for watching, man. It means the world to me that people take the time to check these out. With that being said, thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful day and take care. I'll see you next Sunday.